Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going guys, welcome back to the Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be going over plugin metrics, sort of just explain a little bit what they are, and then I'm going to show you guys how to use them. Now it is relatively simple, and to be honest this shouldn't really be in my advanced series, but it's kind of advanced because people don't use it, and you kind of really should, because it's very useful, and it's very useful for people that want to use your plugin. So basically plugin metrics are statistics. They're just sort of statistics about your plugin. So if we just go here and check these global stats, uh, we can just sort of see sort of what we can get out here. So we can see the total number of servers that are using your plugin, which is really awesome. And it's just a kind of a good way for you to sort of see how many people are actively using your plugin, how many players your plugin is reaching. Um, which makes it really useful so you can sort of start seeing if you really need to start improving on your code if you need to start implementing newer and newer things that way people want to keep using and downloading your plugin you know lots of reasons uh, so we can see here you know the offline online you can see all the Minecraft versions that your plugin is being run on this one I think is probably the most useful as it kind of really allows you to see what versions people are running your plugin on you know as you can see here you know for instance, this is just the global stats. 1.1 or 1.8.8 .8 takes up, you know, 23%, and then 1.12 takes up 34%. So we can say, okay, well, 34% of our of my downloaders are using Spigot 1.12. So I I need to make sure it works really good for Spigot 1.12. While only 0.7% are using it for 1.9. So I don't really need to focus on you know optimizing it for 1.9. And then you can see your operating systems. This probably isn't <clears throat> as useful. Probably most times it's either going to be Windows or Linux, uh, depending where they're using it. And you can see your Java version. So you can see that if for some reason somebody is using like five, 1.5% <laughs> are using Java 1.7, um, you can be like, hey, it's you know it's probably best that you use Java 1.8, you know, and so on. But anyways. So let's get started here. So I've already went and added my plugin here. It's tutorial metrics, as you can see here. Servers using players is none, and we have all this, which is um, all zeros because we don't have anything in there right now. So what we have to do is we can go ahead and go here, click our little wrench, or sorry, not click our little wrench. Go back to the main site, which is bstats.org. Go ahead and click get started, and include metrics. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy this metrics.java class. Um, I'm just going to get the raw there. And just make a new class and just go ahead and call it metrics. Now be forewarned, metrics already exists inside of Spigot. So just, just remember that. So make sure you import the right one. Alright, so that should work as soon as you put it in there. So just go ahead and close that. And we can pretty much get started right now. And remember, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub, so you guys are having some troubles, go on there and check it out. I don't really think you're gonna have too much trouble with this, but if for some reason you are, there you go. So so we're just gonna go down here to where it says here, and we're just gonna grab one of these sort of pre-made things. You can make your own custom charts here. So if I went to, uh, back to my plugin there, and we click this wrench, we can choose our chart type, which is, uh, say we wanted, uh, I don't know, simple pie. We can give it a title, we can give it a chart ID, and then we'd be able to use it. But I'm just going to use a default one. If you guys want to go ahead and use a custom one, uh, just go ahead and uh, read up on here. It pretty much tells you how to do exactly everything. All right, so it, go ahead and grab this one right down here. We're going to just grab the simple line chart, which is going to show us how many players are online. So we're just going to go ahead and paste this in and just go ahead and import that. And since I'm using Java uh, 8, I can go ahead and replace this with a Lambda, which is going to greatly optimize uh, <laughs> how much code we have right there. Uh, as you can see, it really cut it down. So we can see there we have players. All right. So uh, if you're not using Java point, uh, point or Java point 8, if you're not using Java 8, you are going to have to use that whole entire big thing. Uh, so I would advise switching to Java 8 so you can use Lambdas. Uh, but anyways, this is pretty much all set. So uh, if we wanted to add more in, we could so you know for instance we could go ahead and I don't know uh, let's just grab let's grab this one right here 
So let's grab that and we'll go ahead and paste it in. And okay, and now this is also going to add a custom chart of Java versions. So let's go ahead and export this. So this is going to be a tutorial metric. All right, so we got it all exported. And just to ensure that it works, I am just going to boot up my server really quick. I don't believe that metrics work on localhost. I believe that they do have to be connected to the internet. So just remember that. All right, so unfortunately, I could not get my BStats website to load. I think it's having some errors right now. But if you guys go ahead and do this, it should show up on there after you've put it onto a server that is... Uh, you know connected to the internet and not localhost all of your stats just start showing up that you put on there so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys are having some troubles be sure to leave a comment down below and i'll try to get to it but thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time